So the last time I turned the ISD-1820 module into a whole big extravaganza of buttons and wires and potentiometers with control voltage and the sequencer that you can see here. And now it's time to take everything here and package it into a usable product, which is the sampler that I'm building. And so everything that you can see here, I've turned all of this into this. This is our ISD-1820 sampler, and it's fairly feature-rich. Now let's try to demonstrate it here of all the features. Let's see what happens when I do this. Tribe Cold Quest, low in theory, bugging out. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. see what we can do with this so now we have that sample recorded let's try it something else here all right let's go with this let's try a dj scratch uh, we're recording it right from this off let's try it with some manual cv all right so we turn the manual off actually we'll leave the manual on for now and just put the steps on so i have the first and third step on now if we get rid of that we do the sort of on autopilot going through the four steps at any point I can just reset it and uh, that's how it works so I'm not going to mess with this because this changes the bias of the transistor so I can make it um, a 
lower range or a higher range just based on a very small twist of this potentiometer. <coughs> let's turn this off. And let's just turn the manual pitch back on and the CV in, the control voltage in, off. And then um, just loop, her, loop it through again. This button controls whether the sequencer plays the edge or play level. So if it plays level, it just plays a couple of, uh, the, a very short sequence of as long as the gate is on. So that gets controlled by the tempo. Um, and then the pitch is, this is the manual pitch. Um, this is the record button, play edge, play level. This is the input jack. The only thing that I have to fix here is um, get a better connector because right now the power and ground are coming from this little piece of breadboard. Um, but uh, yeah, and so this is the audio in and out. This is the audio line in. I have it uh, connected through this uh, um, eighth inch um, audio jack. And um, basically there's the line in uh, ground. This is just connected to ground. This is connected to um, the actual line in, which goes into the microphone uh, input there. Um, and it's just basically a hacked cable. Um, uh, what else? The microphone is here. It's very sensitive. The, the automatic gain control on the chip um, really amplifies this, provides a lot of gain to it. And it sounds pretty darn good for a, a lo-fi sampler. Um, so this is the completed version of um, the sampler based off of the ISD1820 uh, chip. And uh, you can see the circuitry inside. There's the, there's the actual module that I used. I didn't use the individual chip. I just basically modified that uh, module that it comes with and added all the little parts that I, um, that I uh, described in the previous videos. So if you're interested in building something like this, a lo-fi sampler, and this is just using the one sampler. I could actually put, uh, the, you know, when I ordered it, it came with four of them. So you could put four of these in there, or, or however many, and record different things and make a completely different jam off of it. So, um, and so... And add this into any um, music sequence, like a drum sequence. And, um, and it will, uh, and it will play those samples. And, um, I mean, it sounds pretty darn good, um, coming off of, uh, a fairly inexpensive, easy to use single module here. Um, and with the little sequencer built in here and the, the, just to refresh people's memories, this is a, um, five, five, five timer, um, that's running a, sequencer based off of a CD4017 um, a decade counter. I'm just using four steps here for the sequence. Um, these control the, the gates which at which point of the sequence goes on and off. And this is the control voltage uh, potentiometers at each uh, step. And so I could turn the whole sequencer input off just by, um, by, um, by turning this off and turning this on. I really should have rethought that by putting like a rocker switch. So one goes on, one goes off, but um, it works uh, pretty well otherwise. Um, if you turn this, if you leave this on and this uh, off, it basically plays the, se the steps of the sequence, but does not um, allow control voltage. It's just the default control voltage. Does. basically functions like a looper but you can drop steps and uh, that's the way that works um, and so this um, by turning this off this disconnects any uh, playback so you can't have any playback with this off so one of these has to be on in order for it to work. Um, and uh, you can do it all manually. Um, and uh, 
This is the looper feature. This is the feed through feature, which is basically you can speak into it, but I have the speaker pretty close to this. So it's going to make a, yeah, that noise. I'm sorry about that. Um, you might have to cut that from the video. Um, but if the speaker or the amp were farther away, it wouldn't give you this much feedback. Uh, as the gain is so good on this, the microphone will, uh, the microphone will pick up almost anything. I had, uh, I had, um, uh, a phone conversation that was going on in another room when I was playing with this, um, literally pick up and, and record on this sampler. So in any case, it's a nice little sampler. It's in a small package now, and I could add this to the drum machine and I could add it to a variety of ways and it's super fun to play with and super fun to to make um so uh if you're interested watch my other videos on the isd 1820 thank you for watching for those of you who stuck around to the end of the video thanks for watching and i'm going to leave you with the schematic <laughs>